stepping into the unknown is one of those big things that means you're doing something right. Stefan Piat, filmmaker here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I shoot, I edit, I build drones, I fly drones, and I like to have fun. I don't think there was a specific, you know, like pivotal time when I wanted to become a filmmaker. It was just kind of something that always was inside of me. After high school, I bought uh, the original GoPro, making skate videos with my friends and posting them online and seeing, you know, just seeing the tricks we were doing to show off to our friends online. And slowly but surely, it was creating content that I thought was fun and trying to do what I could with it. And it, it just kind of consumed me. It was all I wanted to do, it was all I wanted to think about. Right out of college, I got a gig working as a marketing associate for a brewery. And it was a fun job, like I was playing with cameras, I was getting paid for it. Slowly but surely, I didn't really get to play with cameras all that much anymore. I was kind of stuck. I had mentioned to my boss at the time that I wanted to switch to part-time to become more focused on my filmmaking and as a drone operator. So I came in that next Friday and my boss sat me down and she said, your services are no longer needed. That same day I, I cleared out my desk and took all my gear and moved it into my new studio space where I was running my business out of from there on out. And I didn't have any work lined up. I only had six or $700 in my account and it was scary. But sometimes, Fear really means that you're doing the right thing. Stepping outside of your comfort zone isn't always easy. I mean, you could have that nice, cushy nine to five job. You know, you can make enough money to pay your bills and your student loans and things like that. But stepping into the unknown is one of those big things that means you're doing something right. opening right here where I think I'll be able to come in from the top and possibly dive down through this tunnel and maybe power loop it and come back down through it or just get a cool shot flying through it. I looped it! Okay, sorry. And now I get it. <laughs> Ever since then, I've been fully self-employed. You know, I haven't looked back since. I haven't wanted a real job since. I love, I love making videos too much to, to go back. And the, the fact that I can make money off of doing something I love so much, I haven't felt like I've had a day of work since then. I'm not a super competitive person, but I do like to be on the forefront of something. I always kind of drive myself to be moving into that next ge next direction. What's going to be the next generation for filmmaking, you know? And I realized that drones were going to be a huge part of what we do as people who make these movies and these, these cinema type projects. It's an incredible new opportunity to move that camera wherever you want. So my goal with being a UAV pilot, drone pilot, is to take it as far as I can. That's why I've learned how to build them, program them, tune them, fly them, all from scratch, because I knew that could open up a door with the right people, and it sure enough it did with NBC Sports and American Flat Track.
you're thinking about getting into filmmaking, cinematography, that kind of stuff, making wedding videos even, like, you gotta really enjoy what you're doing. And if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're never going to. Because at the end of the day, you're only as good as your last video. And do you want your last video that you created to represent you badly? Probably not. So if you're looking to get into it, make sure you have that attention to detail and you have the passion for it. Because otherwise you're gonna spend a ton of money on gear and lenses and lights and all this stuff and then you're gonna end up selling it just to get back into a regular nine to five job.